Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Fat Vegan Chef. I really missed you. Today I'm going to be making something that I have been craving for a very long time. I'm going to make some vegan biscuits and sausage gravy from scratch. And this one is going to be very information packed, so stick with me. The payoff is going to be really yummy. Have your pen and paper ready? Alright, let's go! The tools that you're going to need to make this dish are a cutting board with a damp towel underneath, measuring cups, measuring spoons, a knife, pastry brush, a rolling pin, a spatula, a round cutter or a cup, mixing bowl, you're gonna need a baking pan, cast iron skillet, a steamer, a blender, and a food processor. The ingredients you're going to need to make the breakfast seat and sausage are one quarter cup of vegan ghee, one eighth teaspoon of sesame seed oil that's mixed in with the vegan ghee, one half cup of chopped shiitake mushrooms, one half cup of chopped cremini mushrooms, one teaspoon of fresh ground black pepper, one teaspoon of minced garlic, a quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper, one half teaspoon of red pepper flakes, you can omit this if you don't want your sausage to be spicy. Two teaspoons of fresh, finely chopped sage. Two teaspoons of fresh, finely chopped rosemary. And two teaspoons of fresh, finely chopped thyme leaves. One quarter cup of tomato paste. Two teaspoons of sea salt. Two drops of liquid smoke. One tablespoon of soy sauce. One tablespoon of vegan beef or chicken base. Two cups of vital wheat gluten. And one package of refried beans. And then you also need water as needed. Additionally, you will need one quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes. One half teaspoon of fresh grated nutmeg. One half teaspoon garlic powder. One half teaspoon onion powder. One teaspoon of fresh ground grains of paradise and a tablespoon of light brown sugar. For the biscuits, what we'll need is three quarters of a cup of cold, unsweetened, and flavored soy milk, one teaspoon of white vinegar, two cups of flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of sea salt, one third cup of vegan butter that is gonna be refrigerated, and two tablespoons of vegan butter, and this is gonna be melted. Now for the uh, gravy, what we're going to need is one pound of the vegan seaton sausage that we're going to be making. We we'll also need a couple of tablespoons of butter or earth balance. We'll need a third of a cup of flour, one half teaspoon of sea salt, one and a half teaspoons of freshly ground black pepper, and we may need more to taste, and a half a teaspoon of grains of paradise, a quarter teaspoon of sage minced fine, an eighth of a teaspoon of thyme minced fine, one quarter cup of cashews, and we're gonna soak this for 20 minutes and then drain it, three to four cups of unsweetened, unflavored soy milk, and this is going to depend upon how much we're going to need, depending upon how thick the gravy is and whether we need to thin it down. These are the ingredients that we're going to need. Go ahead and pause the video. Go out and shop for your groceries. Come on back. All right, welcome back. I'm glad you got all your ingredients together and prepared. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and prepare with the seaton. First thing we're gonna do is cook off some of the ingredients that will go in the seaton. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the quarter cup of vegan ghee and the sesame seed oil and again the sesame seed oil is one eighth teaspoon I'm going to go ahead and let this melt in here and I'm using a little bit more of the fat than I usually would because I want that to be incorporated in the seaton so it's kind of like a sausage where sausage is kind of fatty and you, if you don't want it to be so fatty, you can eliminate some of this, but I would suggest leaving it in. So now we've got that melted. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our chopped mushroom, our cayenne pepper, and our red pepper flakes, our garlic, and our black pepper. And we're going to go ahead and mix this in, and we're gonna stir this until the mushrooms are cooked. Our mushrooms are nice and cooked, so we're gonna go ahead and add in our salt and our liquid smoke, rosemary, thyme, and sage. 
you know, we'll add in a quarter cup of tomato paste, soy sauce, and vegan chicken or beef base. Give this a good stir, and we'll cook this for a few more minutes to bring out the flavor of the tomato paste and the soy sauce and the herbs. All right, this has been caramelizing nicely. So what I'm gonna do is reduce this from the heat and I'm gonna set this aside. All right, we're back over here at the counter. Now we're gonna go ahead and take that mushroom mixture that we just sauteed up and put it in our food processor. And we're gonna puree this until the mixture is well pureed. We want to make it a nice paste without any kind of lumps in it. So I'll go ahead and get this all pureed up. I'm gonna go ahead and get this scraped down and put into a bowl, and then we'll move on to the next step. Next, what we're gonna do is make our dough. I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups of vital wheat gluten, quarter cup of nutritional yeast flakes, nutmeg, garlic, onion powder, grains of paradise, and our brown sugar. Now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and mix this in really good that's looking good now we're going to go ahead and add in our refried beans and our mushroom mixture now what i'm going to do with my fork here is i'm going to gently break apart the refried beans and the mushroom mixture and kind of blend that into the seton to make sure we get it, it all mixed in and unlumpy now what we'll do is we will start to form our dough eventually what we'll have to do is start to use our hand yes i said use your hand don't be afraid to get dirty that's half the fun of cooking and we want this to be a fairly thick dough but we don't want it too thick but this is a little bit too dry so i'm going to add in just a little bit of water and it all depends upon how humid it is in your house and in the area that you live in so i can't really give you an exact measurement unfortunately you'll know by the way that the dough feels. Now I am kneading the dough and trying to get that gluten going. That's what we want. We want it to be nice and glutinous. We're gonna knead this for five minutes. I have kneaded this dough for about five minutes and this is what it's gonna look like when it's nice and kneaded and ready to go. You can see it's still kind of workable but it's still pretty solid, and that's what we want. What I'm gonna do now that I have it nice and kneaded is I'm gonna sit and let this rest for 20 minutes. And that way the, it will become workable. And then once I have let it rest for 20 minutes, then what I'll do is I'll get this in the pan for steaming. So I'll see you in 20 minutes. Okay, it's been 20 minutes. So now what we're going to do is we're going to roll out our seasoning. And basically what you want to do is take some aluminum foil and roll it out so it will fit the steamer plus about double. We are going to fold this over here. We're going to make a package. Now what we'll do is we will pop this. We're going to roll this out so it will fit inside of our steamer. As long as it roughly fits in there. Now we're going to go ahead and create our package. Now, I'm going to go ahead and put this in our steamer. I'm going to cook this for 45 minutes to an hour. And then once it's done, I'll see you. So, see you in about 45 minutes to an hour. My seating is cooked. I am allowing it to cool right now. And I have turned my oven on to 450 degrees. So it's heating up. So now we're gonna go ahead and make the biscuits. First thing you want to do is take our vinegar, and this is one teaspoon of white vinegar. I'm gonna put it in three quarters of a cup of cold, unsweetened, unflavored soy milk. And this basically creates a buttermilk, and so it will help give our biscuits that nice buttermilk flavor that, uh, that we love. So I've got this now sitting here turning into vegan buttermilk or soy buttermilk. So now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and sift our dry ingredients. And this is two cups of all-purpose flour. This is two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of sea salt. So now we're just gonna go ahead and sift these ingredients. I have my dry ingredients sifted. 
So now I'm going to go ahead and add in my vegan butter. And this is one third cup of vegan butter that is cold. So this just came directly out of the refrigerator. Now either with a pastry knife or a dough knife or a fork, what you can do is start to combine the butter into the dry ingredients. And I just want to gently cut the butter into the flour. Okay, I have my vegan butter cut into my flour mixture here. And I did this all with a tool. I didn't use my hand because we want that butter to stay cold. We don't want it to melt. That's uh, the secret to making nice flaky biscuits. Now what we'll do is we're going to add in our curdled milk mixture. And I'm going to use a fork to mix this up. And we want to mix this. And what we want to do is mix this as quickly as possible. And we do not want to over mix it. Because we don't want to form a lot of gluten. All right, so I have my mixture in there. So I'm just going to mix this until it just starts to form. Until most of the lumps are gone. And the flour is nice and moist. I've got a nice dough ball formed here. So now we're going to go ahead and roll these out into biscuits. And I'm going to take some flour. And I'm going to dust my countertop, put my dough ball out. I'm going to take my rolling pin. I'm going to roll this out to about half an inch thick. Got it rolled out here. So I'm going to take my biscuit cutter and I'm going to cut some biscuits. And again, if you don't have a biscuit cutter, you can use the cup. Now what we'll do is we will take the biscuits. I'm going to put them on a ungreased baking sheet. All right, so my biscuit out in my pan. And I'm going to take some melted earth balance or melted vegan butter. And I'm going to brush the tops of these biscuits with the melted vegan butter. My vegan biscuits are buttered. So we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven. And again, I'm going to bake this at 450 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 to 12 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven and clean up a little bit. And then we'll go ahead and start making our sausage gravy, okay? Are you guys still with me? Great. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and break up our vegan seat and sausage that we made. Now, you can use store-bought if you want to. This step is unnecessary, but it's kind of fun to make these things, and I wanted to show you the hard way this time instead of the easy way. In my next video, I may show you the easy way, so sometimes it's just good, good to do that. So now, I'm gonna go ahead and break this up as if it was gonna be ground sausage. With the help of my food processor, I have ground this down so it feels and looks a lot like ground sausage. And I've measured out a pound of this. So this is a pound of the seaton that uh, we made. And I'm gonna go ahead and set this by the stove, turn on my cast iron skillet to about medium high, and then we're gonna go ahead and make our cashew cream. I have my blender, I have my raw cashews here that I soaked for 20 minutes and then drained. I have one cup of my three to four cups of unsweetened soy milk. And this is original, no vanilla, no chocolate. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this up. I have my cashew cream all blended up. So now we're gonna go ahead and go over to the stove and we're gonna make the uh, sausage gravy. All right, I've got my cast iron skillet on about medium, medium high heat and it is hot and ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in a tablespoon of vegan butter and one pound of the vegan sausage. And we're just gonna cook this for a few minutes to kind of heat the sausage up, bring the flavors out. The vegan sausage is starting to turn a nice brown. So what I'm gonna do is turn the heat down to low and I'm gonna add in flour. And this is one third cup of all purpose flour. And I'm gonna cook this for about five to 10 minutes. Again, on low heat and this will help remove some of the starchiness out of the flour. It's been five to 10 minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and bring my heat back up to medium high. And while that's heating up, I'm gonna go ahead and add in one and a half teaspoons of fresh ground black pepper, one half teaspoon of Grains of Paradise, 
and a quarter teaspoon of sage that's been minced fine. Mix that in there. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add in cashew mixture. I'm gonna slowly add this in, so I don't want it to kind of lump up. Next, I'm gonna add two more cups of the unsweetened, unflavored soy milk. What I'm gonna do is bring this up to a boil, and then I'm gonna cook this for five to 10 minutes. I want it to be a nice, thick gravy when it's done. So if it gets too thick, I may have to add some more soy milk. And if it's too thin, I'll have to cook it for longer than the five to 10 minutes. So like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up to a boil and see you in about 15 or 20 minutes. It's been five to 10 minutes and it looks like my sausage gravy is done. Doesn't it look really good? I think putting in that extra effort to actually make a little seasoning made the difference here. Again, you can go out and buy your own breakfast sausage if you want to, your vegan breakfast sausage, but I think it makes a big difference if you make it on your own, and it's cheaper too. So let's go ahead and taste this, see if we need any salt or pepper in it. I actually think it's right there. It's perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and shut off the heat, and I'm gonna go ahead and move this on over to the counter, and I'll see you back over there. Let's go ahead and plate this. I have already made some crispy hash browns and some grits with some butter on top of it. This will be perfect for my biscuits and gravy. And I've taken a couple of the biscuits that I made earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and scoop some of this hot gravy over these hot biscuits. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it's like grandma used to make. So now I've got breakfast ready. I'm glad that you stuck with me for the entirety of this recipe. I hope that you make this in your home. Please let me know how it turned out. Please be sure to like and share this video with your friends and family and follow at your favorite social media sites to keep updated on new recipes and what's going on. And just follow at The Fat Vegan Chef. I really certainly appreciate it. Also, please consider donating a few dollars to help keep me going. You can find out how by going to tfbc.org forward slash donate. That's tfbc.org forward slash donate. And while you're there, check out all my other recipes. Thank you very much and have a good morning.